in the name of the wisdom and the love, the justice and the infinite mercy of the one eternal spirit. Amen. How do you know that the death defier was telling you the truth? Don Juan shook his head in amazement, if not revulsion. When you are facing the inconceivable unknown out there, he said, pointing all around him, you do not fool around with petty lies. Petty lies are only for people who have never witnessed what's out there waiting for them. The true nature of a magical oath, which is to establish a new relationship with your higher self that puts meaning into your new life. I swear to tell myself the truth. I swear to regard every event or condition as a particular dealing between myself and the holy guardian angel. Truth is generally a relative term for the simple reason that we can never know all the facts around any situation. And at the same time, in a legal sense, an oath is binding to honestly answer every question and perform every duty to the best of your ability. A magical oath is different. It requires that you continuously tell yourself the truth, which may mean thinking over what you previously thought to be true, and then telling yourself a new truth. It isn't honesty before the law, but honesty before your own higher self before the quantum court of eternity, of infinity. An event is really every event. But those which take on a special kind of halo effect, a beacon calling itself to your attention, to your higher self's attention, and if your lower self's not paying attention, your higher self will arrange things in your life to cause you to pay attention. Otherwise, you will perish. It must arise within your own personal sphere of awareness. It may be a completely ordinary event, but suddenly it stands out as if speaking to you. Yet to regard or rather to believe that everything which a person sees, feels, or hears is an omen or message, perhaps is a psychopathic condition. The main point is that one must maintain a sense of keen awareness when this is done. The way is open for one's own intuition or inspiration to inform one on any possible oracular import. The oracle of infinity as it speaks through your higher self to your human as part of a de devoted program of relating to your higher self your spiritual path, your dharma, then one can get much symbology and conversation concerning his great work and the many things that touch your life. As you progress, both the events and their messages are greatly increased, those that are of value. Under the oath, under this oath, the budding magi, the neophyte, the aspirant upon the path, the magician, the magus stands between two extremes. On the one side is the near psychopath who regards everything that touches the eye and ear as a particular secret personal message. On the other hand, at the other end of the spectrum is the impervious one who sees no soul message in anything. And here the neophyte, here the aspirant upon the path 
stands in the middle ground with an open eye and ear to heed anything that may be relevant to his or her great work. Build the mind temple not made with human hands, that the kingdom within becomes the kingdom without. Ah, 